Hi guys, welcome and today we will see Nodex Bose.h file and uh, in this file we will see uh, what uh, kind of uh, different functions are available for us. So let's get started. So first of all we will create a new project. So go into the C directory. Here we have extracted NRF SDK and uh, we go into the examples folder and uh, uh, we created the my projects folder here. So first of all we are going to copy a project from peripheral. So we will just copy the Blinky project and go back to my projects, paste it here. Let's rename it as a boats tutorial. So we are going to open this. Since our board is NRF52832, so we are going to open PCA10040. Go into the blank folder, SES Sagar Embedded Studio, and open the uh, EM project file. So first of all, we are going to remove all of this code. We don't need this. We will look at some code in the boats.h file and we will look at uh, some of the available functions from Nordic SDK. So uh, since our board is PCA10040, so let's see how the SDK is managing our boats. So right click on the boats.h file, go to include file and click on boats.h. So in our boats.h file, as you can see here, our board is PCA10040 so we are going to see this file PCA10040.h so let's open it by right click and go to include file and uh, here click on the option PCA10040.h so this file is opened and uh, here we can see there are different kinds of uh, buttons and LEDs and uh, other constants have been declared these are all the pins that are declared here and they are always used from here so whenever we include the boats.h file we can use these constants for our projects so as we can see here uh, the buttons are connected at 13 14 15 and 16 pin numbers respectively and uh, we can also see the leds are connected at 17 18 19 and 20. let's go into the main function and uh, here we have included this boats.h file normally we use a gpio uh, nrf gpio output config pin a function to configure the output pins uh, but uh, if we use the boats.h file it can do all of this stuff for us in a few lines of code so it's really easy make sure you have included the boats.h file and uh, then we can simply use the function psp board in it and uh, here we can initialize by providing the bsp flag uh, for leds and for buttons as well so for now we will just use the four leds and uh, i'm going to use the flag uh, constant which is bsp underscore in it leds here you can see we also have the option for buttons and for none as well so we are going to use the uh, init leds and that's it we have configured all of the leds for as a uh, output pins so the next thing is we have to turn on and turn off the leds so we for this we have two different functions so let's what we can do so let's see how we can manipulate the leds okay so first of all we are going to turn on the LED so to turn on an LED we will use a function from uh, the boats.h file so the function is bsp board LED on so here we have to give uh, the LED number so basically our LEDs are number from 0 to 3 so if I give here 0 it means the LED 1 would be turned on so I will put the zero there and then I'm going to use NRF delay milliseconds and uh, 500 milliseconds delay then I'm going to use the uh, function to turn off the LED so for that BSP 
LED off. So in the LED off we will tell it the, the LED zero so it turns off the LED one and then we are going to give it some delay NRF underscore delay in milliseconds and this would be 500 milliseconds and that's it and control plus has to save and uh, now we will build the file so go into the build click on the build blinky and uh, it's compiled okay so once the file is compiled uh, we are going to go in the target make sure your jlink device is connected so uh, click on the connect and uh, then we will erase the device and then we will download our program so as you can see the led one is blinking right now at a delay of 500 milliseconds so to toggle an led we will use another function which is bsp board led and invert and here we will mention the led number so let's give it the led 3 which is the number 2 so so let's give some delay and our and the delay would be 100 milliseconds control plus has to save go to build click on the build target connect to the device erase all and download and now you can see the first LED is blinking and the other LED is blinking as well because its uh, state is being inverted around about every 1100 milliseconds it's turning on and off so here you can see we have uh, different functions for the LEDs and we can also use them for our purposes uh, without uh, doing all the initialization and all the stuff. So this is uh, very useful. So to turn on and turn off all, all of the LEDs together we have another function which is BSP board LED LEDs and uh, on so this is going to turn on all of the leds we don't need to give any parameters for this and then we will give some delay nrf underscore delay and delay would be 50 milliseconds this time and we will turn off all of the leds together so for that we have another function which is psp board leds off so this is going to turn off all of the leds and then we will give some delay nrf and delay and in milliseconds and this would be 50 milliseconds delay and that's it control plus has to save and then cl click on the build we will connect with the device erase all and then we will download our code and uh, here as you can see it's turning on all of the LEDs together at uh, some point and then it's turning off and it's just for 50 milliseconds so you see a different stuff here so guys one more thing to mention here is that uh, LED on is basically giving logic zero on output and uh, logic uh, LED turn off means it's giving logic one on the output. So that's it for today. I hope so you enjoyed uh, the tutorial and I hope so you like uh, my videos and uh, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and uh, Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.